have actually taken a lot of video of various concerts and just hanging out that they've done. And they've always uploaded all of their videos to YouTube. It works great. It's a free service that they can use and people can share the videos and embed them in places and, and it's great. And they want to keep using YouTube as the main place where they store all the videos that they have. But they also, of course, want to have those videos on their website. It makes sense, right? They would like people to be able to just find them and not have to go off to YouTube and try and figure out where they are over there. So in this lesson, we're going to create a video content type. And in the process of getting our YouTube videos into that, we're going to need to talk about remote media because we're not going to upload the video to the website itself. We want to use media that's been uploaded somewhere else entirely. So we're going to talk about what it means to use remote media and specifically with the media module, the various plugins that are available to let you access different kinds of remote media. And then we're going to go ahead and build out our video content type to pull in our YouTube videos and embed those so that we can see them on the site without having to re-upload them and mess around with any of that stuff. So before we dive in here, let's take a quick look at what we're trying to build. This is the, the video content type that we're going to be recreating. So we have our title, our body, standard stuff, and then we have this video field. And again, we select media. It opens up our regular media browser that we've been using throughout with uh, the media module. And we now have this tab called web. So instead of just having an upload field and the existing library available, we can now use things that are out on the web. You'll see that it lists the providers that are supported. So right now it's only YouTube, but we could add others here like Flickr and Vimeo and stuff like that. And all I need to do is paste in the URL for say a YouTube video page or grab the embed code for that video, paste it into here, and then when I've done all of that, we end up having this. We get the actual video embedded in the node along with our description and such. And then people can just play the video from here rather than having to go over to YouTube. Now, how are we going to do that? Right? Well, let's follow the trail of how we figure out how to get the YouTube stuff working. If we go back to the media project page on drupal.org slash project slash media, and if I scroll down, we've looked at this list before earlier in the series. There's a wiki page of media related modules under the recommended modules section. This is just a really great resource. Um, and so you should definitely, if you're working with media, it's something to check in on regularly. So let's go to that wiki page. And when we get here, the very first section is provider projects. And so that means these are various media assets that we can add to our site. And you can see there's quite a list of all kinds of different services that are available. So I'm going to scroll down to the whys because I want to use YouTube. So we click on the YouTube and that takes us to the drupal.org project page for media YouTube module. This is the module that we're going to need along with media's internet sources in order to pull it all together and make this embedding super simple like we just saw. So you want to make sure that you download media YouTube and add that to your site. And then let's go over here and actually enable some stuff. So go to modules. And if I go down to the media section, you'll see I have media YouTube and I also will need media internet sources. So we're going to enable both of these modules to get YouTube embeds working. Okay. So now that I have that, let's go create the content type. Typical content type stuff, add content type. We're going to create one called video. And then I'm going to go down and save and add fields. So again, we have the title and the body. So we have those standard fields that we need. I only need to add one additional field to get the video embed going on in here. So I'm going to go ahead and call this YouTube video just to make it clear to people that it's going to be a YouTube video they're using. If we had multiple pro providers, I could probably just do video or embedded video or something like that. Now, when it comes to field type, there are actually two ways that we can go about doing this. You'll notice down here at the bottom, there's something called multimedia asset deprecated. So, and this is how you used to do this was using a multimedia asset. 
But as you can see, it's deprecated. It's sort of there for backwards compatibility and for people who have already been using that. So since this is new, we don't necessarily want to use something that's deprecated and is being phased out essentially. So we're just going to go straight and use again, the plain file field type. And the widget that we're going to use is again, the media file selector, our standard media browser, right? We're going to use public files. We're not actually uploading since we're using a file field. It's it's going through all of the, you want to upload a file thing, but we're not going to use it for that. We're only going to use the embed. So let me uh, save that. It's a video node. We should require that, right? It probably would be good idea to put some help text in here that explains to people, you know, that uh, they would use the web tab and then use the embed code or something like that. Now, Allowed file extensions, again, the default is just TXT for text. We are not going to actually be uploading files. We're just going to be embedding them. So honestly, this doesn't matter. Now, if you wanted to, you could put in some video file formats there if that makes you feel better, but we're going to not use this. We're going to ignore it. So what I'm more interested in is these remote media types and URI schemes. This is the important stuff. Now, I don't want people to be able to use images remotely. That would be, say, for something like Flickr, right? I want people to be able to do video and nothing else. I don't want audio. I don't want images. I don't want anything else. I just want people to be able to use video here. When it comes to the URI schemes, again, I don't want people to upload to the private or public file directories on the local site server. I only want people to be able to use YouTube videos from YouTube. So this is the stream wrappers uh, that media module is, is defining. Again, file directory, these things, this is all about upload and those don't really apply to us. So I'm going to ignore those. And we only want one video for post on this particular site. So these can all stay the same as well. So I have my field added. So let's go ahead and just add a, a video and, and see how that works. So I'll go to add content and video. I'll do a title here. So I have my title in my body, which is yada yada. The important thing that we really want to look at here is this YouTube video. So I'm going to select my media. Again, I'm not uploading a file. That's not going to work. But I have this new web tab and I just need to put in my URL or embed code. So I'm going to go over and find a video. And uh, so this is just on YouTube and I can either use the, the URL up in the address bar in my browser, or I can use this share section under YouTube and just grab this, or I could grab the entire embed code. Either one of these is going to work. So once I have that copied, I go back to my site and I just paste that code in here, All right? So that's what I got from there and submit. And then I have my video here. So let's go ahead and save this. And you'll see, interestingly enough, this is not displaying as the actual video embed yet. And of course, as is typical, that means we need to do something with managing the display of our field. We've just created the adding it thing the widget and such, but now we need to actually get that to display properly. So I'm going to go back to structure, content types, and for video, I will manage display. We have our YouTube video. So again, I don't need an actual label for it. And by default, it's doing generic file, which is just giving us that, you know, file link, not useful. What I want to actually do is render this. I want it to actually be turned into the HTML that it should be, which is in this case going to be our embed code from YouTube. So I'm going to change this to rendered file and we'll just leave the view mode at default. And then uh, I'll go ahead and hit save. And we should just check our teaser here real quickly too. In the teaser, we probably don't necessarily need the video displaying, but if I did want to have the video displaying in the teaser as well, I would need to make sure I set the formats here, right? But we have all of this stuff set properly. Let me close this. Our page reloads, and now I have in the embedded video. 
And that was that simple. I just needed to enable two modules. I added a video file field. And instead of setting up the upload settings for it, I just set the remote settings for it, that it's a video and it's using the YouTube URI. And then I just needed to change the output to, instead of just being a generic file link, rendering it out and actually turning it into the embedded video that we want to see. Now, one thing I kind of skipped over because I just wanted to get to this main, uh, the meat of it with this video, is if you noticed our preview actually was a little messed up. So if I go in and edit this node and go down here where I added the video, you can see I'm, I'm seeing a preview of the video. It's the video is actually embedded and I could play that here, um, but it's, it's actually too large. So the preview should be small and I don't have access to the buttons to remove this content or anything else. So this is actually not very good right now. Now, the reason for that is because the, by default, this is just embedding that YouTube video for me. And what I want is for when I'm in a preview mode, which is like, you know, with, with this field, this is a, a preview of the file I've uploaded. I don't want to have the full embed. I just want to have a little teeny preview image. So what I'm going to do is go in and configure this in the media file type for video, since this hasn't been set for me yet. So if I go to uh, configuration and uh, come down here into file types, and we have our video file types. I don't need to manage the fields on the video, like the meta information. I need to uh, manage the actual file display. And if you come down and look here, you can see YouTube video is selected for this default display, right? So when I did the rendered file for my display of the field, um, we just had default and that works. But if I go and look at this preview mode that we have here, there's actually nothing selected. And so it's just using the default, which is that really large embed, which is not what I want. But that we do have this YouTube preview image we can use. So if I do this, now I can select the image style that I want to use just for a little preview image. Um, and we can use the square thumbnail to make a nice small thumbnail. So I'm gonna change this to square thumbnail for preview and hit save configuration. And now if I go back here, so this is my node, that you can see that the video is still normal big embed size. But if I edit this, if we scroll down, now I have a normal preview size in here and I can access my buttons. So this is something that just, it, it's not set up by default in this particular version. So again, those file types that media provides lets me control that display in different view modes or different contexts. And so that's how I get this working properly uh, so that people can do what they have to do on the editing side of things. So we have now added our video to the site and we can just embed away with all the videos that we want to be able to have.